Hey guys, what's going on? Um, welcome to Rapid City Real Estate News. Sorry I missed last week. Uh, I was out of town and couldn't make it. So here we are this week. Uh, today is um, Tuesday the 28th of June. So this year is over halfway over. Pretty crazy. It's gone by fast. Um, so let's get right into it. Uh, a couple of new highs, new high numbers uh, this week that I've seen uh, in the last two years. 145 houses are currently active. It's awesome, guys. It's awesome to have options if you're out there buying. Um, you know, one thing I've heard recently is people say the last market shift, um, things happen slowly than all at once. You probably heard that saying before. Um, definitely we're in a shifting market, 100%. There's no doubt about it. Um, the question is, everybody's screaming, housing prices are going to crash 30 to 40%. Um, that's the part that I don't think anybody actually knows. Um, <clears throat> our best indication that's probably not going to happen. And if you look at like the Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac um, predictions, they don't think that's going to happen either. They just think the rate of increase is going to slow down to basically what it was before, which is like 3 to 7%. And that's nationwide. Um, so I think it'll probably be around that here too. That's my personal opinion on it. Could it absolutely crash? It could, yes, but I don't think that's going to happen personally. So we had 50 houses in the market last week. Uh, median price, 357 A little bit lower uh, than normal price-wise, which is awesome and a great amount of houses. Only 13 of those are under contract. Um, 22 houses actually sold for a little bit over asking. And like I said, 145 um, houses on the market. 13 days now before you get an accepted offer on a house. So we've basically doubled in the last two months on that. Interest rate's 5.91% one of the highest I've seen it in a long time as well. Some other things I've been noticing that have been going on in the market, guys, it's pretty interesting to me, and I've dealt with it some of my clients as well. Uh, I've seen a lot of houses come back on the market after already going off the market. Um, for a multitude of reasons this happens, but way more than normal right now. Usually it's like 10 to 15% of houses, but right now I think it's like one in every three or four is coming back on the market, which um, prospective buyers, which maybe you are, scares them, like what's wrong with the house? You know, Why did someone back out of it? Um, I just had a deal where the person backed out just for cold feet, um, just for no reason whatsoever. They just freaked out and said, I don't want to buy a house anymore. So that can happen. They could back out over inspection. They could lose their financing, lose their job. There's a lot of reasons that it could come back on. It's not always a problem uh, with the house. That's one of the hard parts of real estate though, when you're selling a house is how do you pick the right buyer for your house? And you know, no, they're not going to back out. No, they're not going to be wishy-washy. And the answer is you really can't exactly pick. Uh, you can guess and hope and um, pray <laughs> that they're the right people, but it's really kind of um, educated guess more than an exact science. So if you're in Rapid City and you want to sell a house and you think you missed the boat, it's still a good time to sell a house. Uh, it's still one of the best times it's been in history. So don't be fooled by that, but it's definitely slowed down a lot. But if you're thinking of selling, you're still going to be fine. Uh, you're still going to get good money for it as long as it's a nice house in a nice area and you price it right. That's the key there. you got to price it right. Now, I think for the rest of the year, guys, we're going to see the same trend. I think we're going to see more houses come on the market, sit on there for a little bit longer, sell for about asking price, maybe slightly above or slightly below, depending on the price point they're in. Uh, we're still getting houses. Two weeks ago, had a house, 13 offers on it. So, I mean, it's not like houses aren't still going over asking, and they are. Uh, I still put a house under contract last week over asking price, so it's not uncommon, but it's happening less than it was uh, before for sure. So this week, quick episode, guys, um, just getting straight into the numbers and uh, a couple little thoughts there. But if you guys got any questions you think about selling your house, uh, feel free to reach out to me, call me, text me, email me. All my info is below this video wherever you're watching it. Thanks so much for watching this week, guys. I will see you next week. Peace.